Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to my backyard on this beautiful blue sky, but chilly morning. Yes, the wind, the breeze is a bit chilly today. All right, today I am going to be harvesting lyre leaf sage. It also goes by cancer weed and many other names. I'll have more information in the description box below. Yes, it is known as cancer weed. This is a very old medicinal, and uh, you can also take the leaves and also macerate them up and put them on warts, and you'll make warts go away. And it's, it's a very important, important medicinal. I've got it all over my backyard. I let it, I let it just grow wild as much as I possibly can. Here is the beautiful, beautiful flowers. This is what is called lyre leaf sage. This is the flowers. Now, if you let it go to seed, you can harvest the seed and also use them as a poppy seed. Um, substitute also you can mash the seeds up and soak them in a little bit of water and it will pull splinters out it'll pull glass out of your skin and a whole lot more let me get i've got to unfortunately harvest several of my plants for the roots I want the roots too. I got some of the roots of this one. This is the beautiful lyre leaf sage. Sometimes the leaves will be a dark green, a light green. They can have um, purple markings. Hold on a minute. Okay, we're going to try it again. That was a helicopter of all things. The leaves can look like this, or they can be green. And this is a wonderful medicinal. Now, the leaves and some of the stem I will use to make tincture with. The roots and leaves I will use to make an oil to make salves with. And I'm also going to dry the leaves as well because it's a wonderful, uh, if you have uh, spring allergies, you can dry the leaves and mix it 50-50 with dried goldenrod and it will definitely work on your spring or seasonal allergies. And I definitely want more of the roots. So... Thankfully, I have bukus of the plants growing wild in my backyard, so I will be harvesting some of the roots, a whole bunch of leaves, and some of the stems as well. But it is a wonderful, beautiful plant, and a very old, important medicinal that many have forgotten about. Very, very important, another very important spring tonic. The roots aren't really big. And of course, I'm going to wash these up before I use them. Make sure there's no bugs. But look at that beautiful, beautiful plant. I do hate to pull them up, but the roots are extremely important to make the salve, to make the medicinal oil, which I will bring you along. This will be the beginning, the opening of three videos because I'm going to show you how to make the oil, how to make the tincture, and how to dehydrate it for tea. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? 
and so many people consider them weeds when it's an extremely important medicinal, especially for skin cancer. Also, the salve will heal cuts, wounds, scrapes, any skin ailments. And the tea for uh, with the leaves is good for colds, coughs, congestion, and many, many other inflammations and problems with them. And of course, I'll have in each video information in the description box below. So I'm fixing to get busy because everything I harvest, I got to weigh. That way I can add it all up and I will bring you back as soon as I get done. I'll see you after a while. Welcome back to the shed, the many names. All right, it is time to dehydrate a batch of the liar leaf sage because I have plans to make a tea mix with it. Oh, yes. A lot of people don't realize that it's extremely good for seasonal allergies now i don't have it but i know family does and several other people so and we will be making that blend in another video so i have my dehydrator trays lined with the uh, mesh now i did wash these and i left them to dry I let them dry a little longer than I wanted to, but hey, they're going to get dehydrated anyway, so if they're welded a little bit, that's not going to hurt a bit. It doesn't change the medicinal value of it at all. And I have tried to get all the grass. There's always going to be some that's left in it, so just be vigilant and watch it as you load it into your trays now i'm different from most people i load my trays because i don't want to lay out a little leaf here and there because do you know how long i'd be dehydrating stuff if i laid a little leaf here and a little leaf there now if that's how you want to dehydrate it that's your choice I, I, i'm a little different and I like to get the job done and over with. Now, no matter how hard you try, there's going to be little pieces of dirt here and there. You know, we all come from the earth. We all go back to the earth. A little dirt don't hurt, y'all. Just don't let it be real excessive. But... You ain't going to die, I promise. I said I load them up, but I don't want to load them too much. They're going to dry regardless. All right, I'm going to scoot that over. I need to take that stem off now. You want to look for bad stem pieces, black dotted pieces. Now the ends are going to brown. There's nothing you can do about it. They're fixing to get even more brown here in a bit. But that's going to be fine. And I will bring you back as soon as I get all the trays loaded up and see how many we get. I'll see you back here in a little bit. Okay, I ended up with three beautiful trays full of lyre leaf sage leaves. This is only the first batch. I have a whole lot more I need to harvest. So this weekend... I'm going to be harvesting a whole bunch more 
to come to dehydrate them, I want to get at least three, two, at least two more big harvests to get them dehydrated and put away. Now, lyre leaf sage does grow year round. So, especially in my yard, it does, but even in the winter, it grows through the winter as well. So, you can harvest lyre leaf sage year round, but this is spring, and I want to get that good, fresh, young spring growth as much as possible. So, I will bring you back in the morning. I've got some more I need to dehydrate. And I will see you in the morning when these are dry. Y'all take care. Okay, welcome back. The lyre leaf sage is dry now. I'm going to remove the top. I have let them cool down or also known as acclimate to the temperature around them. And this is the first of many harvests to come this year. Because I want to put a whole bunch of this wonderful medicinal plant back. And see? Look how beautiful they look. They look like they're still fresh. I love my dehydrator. And I can't thank Lawrence enough for blessing me with the funds to get this dehydrator. Okay. Now. See how beautiful that is? No, it's not burnt. The actual true colors of the leaves start to come out. And as you can hear, they are dry. I want to get them down to the smallest form I can. I'm not going to powder them, but I want to break the leaves up really good. I'm going to continue. Let me show you one more time because I had the camera up. You want to try to break them up into smaller pieces. This back. And some more or maybe just this that I'm gonna be making a very important seasonal allergy tea in another video so I'll bring you back as soon as I get these broke down all right I got them broke down real nice and the smaller pieces see how much that breaks down and now we'll get them into this jar here. I'll we'll have to hold it with my hand. Because the funnel bottom won't go into the jar. And this is why I say to make sure that your countertops are clean and sanitized so you can get all that falls out. And I have family that save me good glass jars. Because, believe me, there's no way on earth I'd eat ragu. <laughs> that stuff's nasty. Okay. You're going to want to label your jar or your mylar bags or whatever you store this in. 
this is going for another video coming soon. And you're going to want to label Lyra Sage. And on this one, I don't have to worry about the exact date. Just put May or whatever month that you harvest your lyre leaf sage and dry it, and the year. But look at that, a beautiful jar that's going here soon to make up a wonderful seasonal allergy tea. And that will be coming up here soon. Probably I'll work on it. I'll post it next week. Should be next week when it comes out. See how simple, easy that is. All you need are the lyre leaf sage plants, a good dehydrator, and jar. That's it. And these I know are organic because they come from my backyard. It's nothing like having wonderful, wild-growing medicinals in your own yard and knowing that you don't poison anything because, well, I could care less about grass. It's good to feed livestock on, but other than that, I can care less about grass because it's... A money-making scheme. Y'all pay way too much to have that great green lawn. Simple, easy. Anybody can do this. You can even harvest it in the wild if you need to. Just harvest responsibly and don't take all the plants. Don't do it. Harvest responsibly. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Y'all stay safe and sound. And as always, remember, you can do this. You just need to know how and believe in yourself. Keep stocking your pantries your, with food that will sustain you. Continue to stock your medicine cabinets with food. With food. Well, yeah, in a way, food. With plants that will heal you. Continue to stock up your protection as well as all necessities that you will need within reason, y'all. Think, think long and hard. Do you really need to stock up on that? Soap is an important one. Laundry detergent and so on. Things that you will need. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Y'all stay safe. Stay sound. And continue to be positive and believe in yourself. Everyone, take care. Have a blessed day. Hoot hoot. I'll see you soon.